These are my secret weapons for Marathon de Sable. Hi everybody and welcome back. Today, finally today, I'm gonna make the video about the secret weapons I use during Marathon de Sable. Everybody can buy them, everybody can use them. It's in a random order. First, and this one really helped me a lot because you only get water there and on one certain moment you want to drink something else as water and you have to put something in your water so the water is not tasting anymore like water. So I took this with me. Actually, for each day I had two of these. You fill this one with water, you do this one in there and you got iced tea. And it doesn't matter if you drink it warm or cold because you don't have the taste of the water. It tastes like tea. I made one bidon with iced tea during the race and one bidon in the bivouac. And especially during the hottest time of the day, I try to drink the iced tea because drinking hot water is not tasting very good. The next tip I've got old socks and what do you do with the socks well you pull them over here like this now your bidon is protected against the sun so the water doesn't get too hot but during the race and in the bivouac Take a little bit of water, you throw it over there, and it's cooling. Believe me, it's working. It's really working very well. I learned this trick from a friend, and he's an army guy. Then I also took Vaseline. And this is Vaseline with aloe vera in there. And you can put the Vaseline on your lips when they are dry. But you also can use it when you cut yourself to put it on the little cut and the aloe vera will protect the wound against inflammation. I also brought sleeping pills with me because I normally go very late to bed and I knew I had to go in the desert very early to bed and I was afraid I couldn't sleep so I brought sleeping pills with me. I also took an extra inflatable bed for the first two days in the bivouac because I was afraid that my race inflatable bed could be punctured and then I had a problem during the race. And with the start of the first etap, you leave your inflatable just in the bivouac for the Moroccan guys and they are very happy with that. And you know for sure that your race inflatable is still intact and you can use it during the race. An extra tip I also didn't touch any local people no children no high-fiving nothing because they have other bacterias on their body than we have and you can get sick from it and I didn't drink on somebody else bottles of water also not in the checkpoints you can use the bottles in a checkpoint to cool yourself to throw over your body but don't drink on them. I also took for each day uh, one sack of this you buy it in a big package what it exactly does it protects your intestines. I start to take them already one week before the race and I took them during the race. Then to stay in the same area, I took each day one of these. And these are all the bacteria. They are necessary in your gut. Uh, in Dutch, it's darmen. I think this is a very good combination to protect yourself from diarrhea. I also took each day one anti-diarrhea pill just to prevent uh, to getting diarrhea. I didn't have nothing of diarrhea so maybe it comes that I use those products or maybe I just was lucky. But I think in Marathon de Sable all the small steps you take are helping you to get healthy on the finish. And it's very important, each decision you make 
helps you to get to the finish line or you have benefit from it or you suffer from it. So it's very important to think about all the steps and all the decisions you're gonna take. I also took magnesium with me. That's very important to recover very quickly. Talking about the muscles. I get a lot of questions about this little machine. I took it with me. I know it's extra weight, but it was worth it. And I use it all the time when I was in the bivac. I did this here, this here, and let it go for 20 minutes. Then on the back of my shoulders, and it gave me a nice massage of my shoulders. I also use it on my legs when I was in the bivac. In my tent, I almost walked the whole time with those on my body. There are going four small batteries in there and they lasted for a week. They are still in there and now we are three months further. So for me, this is a must have. This year, everybody was struggling with toilet paper. What I did, I went to the shop. I bought a bag of these, but they are very heavy because they are moisted. I put them in uh, the wash dryer and I dry them. You can wash your face with it. You, you put a little bit of water over there. You can wash your face, your whole body with that. And you can use them as toilet paper. When they are dry, they weigh nothing. And I did some in my race suit. So when I had to go to the toilet during the race, then I don't have to search for them in my backpack. I just pull them out of my race suit and can use them. And also when I was at a checkpoint, throw a little bit water over there, keep it a few seconds in the wind, and then you can cool your face with it. And I saw a lot of YouTube movies where the discussion went what to do with your teeth brush. I've got this and it's working great. You only need seven of these or 14 if you want to brush your teeth twice a day. They weigh nothing. They take nothing from space up because you can put them everywhere and they are very small. Very simple. Open it and this is coming out. And what you do with this, you put it on your finger like that and you can brush your teeth like that. Is it perfect? No. Does it do the job? Yes. For seven days, it's more than enough. It does the job more or less. And that's more than enough in the desert. For seven days, you will survive it. It's also very important to try to keep cooling your body in any way that's possible. And I had a small tip for that also. You have two bidons. They are sitting here. The left one, I always put my tablets from the electrolyter from the Isostar and stuff like that. And in this one, I always had only water because when it was hot, you squeeze this one, you squeeze in the bottle and you spray a little bit water in your face. That's very refreshing, especially during the race. You don't have to pull out your bidon, just squeeze and you got a little bit refreshing. You also can squeeze a little bit into your neck. So I think that's a little bit the secret weapons I use during Marathon de Sable. I know everybody has his own secret weapons. For me, they help me a lot. If you use other secret weapons, let me know in the comments so other people can make use of that. So if you have any questions, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, give a thumbs up, and hope to see you next time. Enjoy. <laughs>